Right now at 6, local civil rights activists asking the league to step up to the plate before the All-Star game and take a stand against racial injustice. This is not about black against white. It's about wrong against right. But this news conference could have used an umpire as a group of protesters disrupted and things got ugly. I'm not a white man that's going to back down or tolerate the kind of behavior we that this country tolerates. have an intelligent conversation. Question the police when they're dealing with people who are running from them. Well, a public call for baseball to discuss racial concerns got heated, as you heard there, in a hurry. Thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palello. Local ministers with eyes on the all-star stage ended up in a shouting match with a group of protesters in front of Great American Ballpark today. WLWT News 5's John London was there, who joins us live with the details. John? Well, it quickly became clear that the plan was to interrupt, challenge, and shout down just about everything the ministers had to say. And although... Uh, they weren't expecting that tactic. They have dealt with that kind of thing before. The countdown clock to Cincinnati's All-Star Summer reads 55 today. Timing, as they say, is everything. We're not here today to call for a boycott. We're not here calling for a protest. Scheduling a media moment about a letter to Major League Baseball. The days of being out unchallenged are over. Backfired big time. Excuse me, I'll get back to what I was saying. When a handful of people showed up to interrupt. How about we do something about the continued assault on white students every school year at the University of Cincinnati, that war zone. How about we do something about that? Ministers and others came to the ballpark to encourage MLB to stand with them on criminal justice reform. Disruption drowned out much of the message. Question the police when they're dealing with people who are running from them, when they're dealing with people that are assaulting, raping people. The ministers are asking that baseball let players wear armbands or patches in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. Cincinnati's preparing for a banner summer, Third Street already lined from one end to the other. The national stage the city seeks appears to be pretty crowded already. A white person is Get away from us. Sin. Go have your own place. Every life matters. Go Every go. life matters. Just 24 hours ago, the nation's attorney general was in Cincinnati meeting with local leaders about reform efforts. Today, members of what the Anti-Defamation League calls a hate group got some instant media attention. Don't be happy. Brother, there is child. It's cold. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. The letters on the way, so are the disruptors. They had to move on. I mean, they, they couldn't deal with that. You don't fight hate with hate. Uh, you fight hate with love, and that's what we do. Reverend Damon Lynch saying everyone has a right to espouse their own viewpoints, but he says the fight for justice and criminal justice reform is going to continue. He wants baseball to lend its influence to those concerns around this community. Reporting live at Great American Ballpark, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John, in that letter, the ministers are asking Major League Baseball to hold a meeting with team owners to develop strategies for racial fairness and to support radical reforms in policing and criminal justice.